This paper is getting a lot of attention recently in Reddit, in Twitter, everywhere pretty much that Lama 3 is not as easy to quantize as it is supposed to be. So it looks like we need a new quantization algorithm if we want to get more juices from these models trained on huge data set. Else quantization is degrading the great amount of information hidden in the full precision tensor of these models. So the most key important point in this paper is that LAMA3 still suffers non-negligent degradation, especially in ultra low bit width. And the most possible reason because LAMA3 is trained on a record 15 trillion tokens and it captures extremely nuanced data relationships utilizing even the minutest decimals in BF16 precision fully. So thereby making it more sensitive to quantization degradation. And it is uh, so sensitive that even the smallest decimal points of each parameter offered by BF16 precision were filled and had a purpose. Other large language models were trained far, far less. For example, Lama 2, I think was trained on 2 trillion token and thus did not have this type of saturation uh, that we are seeing in Lama 3. So another way to put it is uh, like this, that I think perhaps the older models, that is a smaller Lama 2 models, for example, had more free capacity, but a model that is trained to within an inch of its life does not have that capacity. And because it is jammed packed, uh, for example, the Lama 3, that lack of capacity also results in a lack of redundancy within the network. Therefore, modifying the network is more damaging to overall performance with a model that has been trained to freakishly high level of that saturation. That is, altering one node causes a cascade of brokenness because of that lack of redundancy that we had for smaller models. So the study in this paper focuses on two main quantization approaches post-training quantization, PTQ, and LoRa fine-tuning, that is LoRa FT quantization. And a variety of state-of-the-art quantization methods are evaluated, spanning a range of bit widths from 1 bit to 8 bits. This include methods like RTN, that is round to nearest, GPTQ, AWQ, a smooth quant, PBLLM, QIP, then uh, there's another one, DBLLM, uh, by LLM, QLORA, and R IRQ LORA. And each method employs different techniques to quantize weights and activations aiming to minimize accuracy loss while maximizing compression. And the evaluation is conducted on diverse datasets, including Wikitex 2, C4, uh, then PTB, Common Sense QA, etc. And this ensures that the results are representative of Lama 3's performance across different tasks and different domains. And the results reveal that Lama 3 experiences a noticeable performance degradation when quantized to lower bit widths. Of course, Lama 3 still outperforms other models, but this highlights a challenge in deploying Lama 3 on devices with limited compute resources. For example, in edge devices, because in that case, a quantized model is our only fallback option. And binarized LLM quantization methods like PBLLM, DBLLM, and by LLM show promise in achieving higher accuracy at ultra low bit widths, for example, less than 2 bit compared to methods like GPTQ and AWQ. These methods employ techniques like mixed precision quantization, double binarization, and residual approximation to maintain accuracy while achieving high compression. Now, interestingly, Lama 3's performance with LoRa FT quant uh, quantization does not improve as expected. The study suggests that Lama 3's pre-training on a massive dataset makes it difficult for low rank fine tuning on smaller data set to compensate for quantization errors. And this calls for a very new paradigm in LoRa based quantization technique for powerful models like Lama 3. And now I just want to show you this particular GitHub page uh, taken from uh, this Lama.cpp's uh, repository. So here uh, with uh, actual numbers, um, it is shown that Lama 3 degrades much more than Lama 2 when quantized. And you can see this number. So this is the perplexity number of various quantization level 
for Lama 27B, Lama 38B, uh, then Lama 27B, Lama 38B. So each of these two columns at a particular quantization level. So this is for Q2K and Q2K for both L Lama 27B and Lama 38B. Similarly, these two columns is for, <coughs> sorry, these two columns is for the Q4KM and Q4KM for Lama 27B and Lama 38B. And we can see for each of these quantization level, the perplexity is less for Lama 2 versus Lama 3. And here as well, perplexity here is um, 5.8, whereas for Lama 3 is 6.4. Uh, similarly, for Q6, we can see Lama 2 gives perplexity of 5.80, while Lama 3 gives 6.25. And exactly similarly, we can see for Q8 as well. And lastly, I just want to point out these uh, very important portion from this paper, which supports the theory that during fine tuning, the quantized Lama 3 degrades much more versus quantized Lama 2. And uh, just reading from the paper on the MMLU dataset, the most notable observation with Lama 3 8B under LoRa FT quantization is that low rank fine tuning on the Alpaca dataset not only cannot compensate for the errors introduced by quantization, even making the degradation more severe. Specifically, various LoRa FT quantization methods obtain worse performance quantized Lama 3 under 4-bit compared to with their 4-bit counterparts without LoRa FT. This is in stark contrast to similar phenomena on the Lama 1 and Lama 2. Basically, that this uh, phenomena is not observed with Lama 2 and Lama 1. Uh, where for the front one, the 4-bit low-rank fine-tuned quantized version could even easily surpass the original FP16 counterpart on MMLU. According to our intuitive analysis, the main reason for this phenomena is due to Lama 3's strong performance brought by its massive prescale training, which means that the performance loss from the original model's quantization cannot be compensated by fine-tuning on a tiny set of data with low rank parameters. So overall in conclusion, I am little concerned that Lama 3 is such a beautiful model, such a great performance model, but quantized, quantizing it is slightly a problem. Uh, but I am hopeful that some algorithmic changes or some implementation will come very soon to overcome this problem.